Hello YouTubers, I'm showing you today uh, some issue I met with the keyboard. Uh, while I was, after opening up the um, this laptop Toshiba A100, I don't know the model, after putting it back together, the initial I had initial problem I had, the mo reason I opened it up was to clean it up and to um, fix the speakers because they were broken. So I decided to open it up to replace the speakers, but after assembling it, putting it back together, uh, the keyboard wasn't working at all. The USB keyboard was working, however, but the keyboard wasn't working, uh, was stuck completely. So, what I did is, um, I opened it again, and uh, it seems like right at this, part where the uh, keyboard is entering this was there was a tiny speck of, of um, not of dust but of aluminium or, or metal that was short circuiting uh, one of these pins here while I disassembled it the second time uh, that speck fell off from here it, it, and it didn't short anymore but the keyboard was still not functioning correctly um, I came to the conclusion that uh, at the time that the problem was um, um, the the keyboard. I ended up buying a new keyboard after I broke the previous one, uh, opening it up, attempting to see what's wrong with it. But after I put the new uh, replacement keyboard, I noticed uh, that one was having the same issues as the first one. So again, I. I I, I got the, the courage to, to open up the, the laptop again after searching through the forums and, and uh, looking at, at some Indian posts about keyboards, uh, laptop keyboards troubleshooting, and they were saying that it might be a chip issue. Well, it wasn't a chip uh, on the motherboard issue, but as in the same way that there was a tiny speck of, of metal stuck in between these two these pins, one of these two pins, uh, I'm presuming it was uh, another metal speck that was metal bit was stuck somewhere on the keyboard on the motherboard. So I opened it up the the motherboard and cleaned it up thoroughly. Um, I don't know it, it, if it has any relationship or not with with this, but I found uh, one chip where after I, I blew some air into it, some some uh, metal or some some specks jumped out of it. So while I was browsing the internet, what is the chip uh, is for? Is some PCI controller chip, like this mo model? It was my case, but the idea is is simple. Um, that uh, if you have this, uh, if you have if you have this problem that the keyboard is not functioning properly, you may want to clean up. Uh, or take it to a service and ask for a cleanup of the motherboard like blow with the compressor or something or with a can of air or use a toothbrush to, to clean it thoroughly the motherboard and you may solve this for me it worked uh, let's test it again <laughs> I hope I didn't mingle with it too much and then now it stopped working again and then ACDF caps lock off Q uh, whatever before when I was pressing the D on the keyboard it would show me the date so now it, it's working properly and also scrambling the so even if I replace like two keyboards it would have still done the same uh, thing so when, when I took the laptop it was working properly but after uh, disassembling it something uh, probably uh, some metal bits uh, so yeah check this connector down here open it up uh, okay let's let's do this open it up look into the into the pins you, can, you may want to take this plastic bit off you can uh, gently um, push the plastic latches on the sides so left and right I'm zooming a, a bit here 
So you may have other uh, metal um, specs or uh, dust specs in this uh, um, socket, in this connector. So you may want to clean those up. But other than that, if it does, doesn't work, if replacing the keyboard didn't fix the issue, then you may want to, to open your laptop up. Be careful, this is not uh, something... Uh, it's not very complicated, but you just have to remember what went where and uh, be very careful when opening it up because you may want, uh, may end up bre breaking your motherboard. So if you don't know this, of course, the disclaimer is you're at your own risk. You, I'm not held responsible for anything, but I cannot be. Uh, held responsible for anything, but if you tried anything and everything else and nothing uh, helped it, nothing solved the issue, if you replace the the keyboard uh, and nothing changed, then you you may want to to look uh, at this thing. You may want to clean up the motherboard thoroughly. Again, thank you for watching and good luck fixing your uh, laptops and. Uh, fixing all, all issues. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.